go ahead, go ahead. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Philly on top. Yeah. Philly on top yeah. and shit. Look, look, hey, yo, the, the city of buddy you love ain't got no choice but to love Camden right now. Real tough. Because yeah. we on the team. <laughs> we on the team. We on the team. Straight like I that. Cross, Straight the front like that. Right across the bridge, huh? First 48. We killing niggas. First 48. <laughs> First 48, first 48, and then Philly together. First 48, we killing niggas. They not gonna know who the fuck did it, nigga. It was the nigga right. with the ball. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we got Cannon and Philly on this motherfucker tonight, man. Real talk, man. I, I definitely appreciate you for being on the platform tonight, man. Been trying to get you on here. Last okay. time I tried to get you on here, we had technical difficulties. So it must have wasn't just meant to be at that time. But this is the time, man, because we best to have you on the platform tonight, man. Definitely what I want you to do, what, what I want you to do from the rip is just, just, just introduce yourself to everybody. I know they see in the comments in the well, the, uh, the description or whatever, the post, you know what I mean, what your name is, whatever. But I want to give you the chance to actually just um, just, um ah, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> it's actually 30, so I hope y'all pulled the fuck up with something too, because I don't want to be drinking alone, man. Ain't no worse than drinking by yet. What the fuck is so? You feel right. what I'm saying? So make sure you pull up with the drinks and shit. But yeah, bro, man, give us, you know what I mean? Give us a moment and shit, you know what I mean? And let us know who you are, man, where you from and shit, and, and what it is you do. Uh, yeah, my name, my name, Tion, uh, Tion Kennedy. You know me. I'm a uh, former boxer. I mean, been on pay and for for a world title and everything. It had two belts. I mean, from North Philly. Right, right now, I ain't boxing right now, but I, I might try to get back. I don't know yet. I knew I knew Freaky for like I don't know how long I knew you for like <laughs> fifteen years. <laughs> it's been a long for, time. Bro. We fam, nigga, like, the years made us. Anybody yeah. I know over a decade, my bro, my cuz, or something, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Right. Like, we family, yo. You feel me? Yeah. Real talk. Real talk, man. Yeah. Crazy ass. Still crazy. <laughs> 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 always been it's always been always been how I am, man, bro. So so let me tell you, uh like yeah. for the people that want to know how old are you now? And um uh, if, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you now? And how old are, how old were you when you first started boxing? Well I'm 36 now, I'll be 37 in June. But I first started boxing in my seven years old. You were seven? Yes, yeah, so I've been in box all my yeah, I think you was what, like 11 when I came in the gym? Uh, I ain't getting that, that probably. I think he was like, what was that? Uh, who was that champs? Yeah, I probably younger than that. I probably was like, I probably was like nine, probably. I know you was young. I know you was young. I remember you being young. Then I remember you getting on my ass too when you got older. <laughs> yeah, okay, you, you was like, Yo, Wade was like, Wade was like, nah, you about to fight a short chick. Every chick I was fighting was short any fucking way because I'm six foot fucking one. So he always puts, I was yeah. like, he's sparring with your motherfucking ass, yo. Like, I can't never hit this motherfucker. This nigga fast as fuck. Like, you know what I mean? But that's, I guess I was, you know what I mean? I, I wasn't trying to get hit hard. You was hitting hard. I, was, I wasn't trying to get hit. <laughs> 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 he said this bitch get hit a little bit. He told me Chaz told him the same shit. He said Chaz, Chaz told him the same shit. Like, nah, D got right motherfucking hand. She got a nice right hand. I can't uh, even hear on my ear, coach. Drawing yeah. <laughs> you know? hit you at the end. That shit hurt. <laughs> nah, no doubt, no doubt. Shit, I done felt your punches too yeah. after after a sparring session and shit. Them body, them body yeah. motherfucking shots you be throwing in when your LO ass get in. Like, okay, <laughs> you do that long shit. Look, you do that long shit, but hold on, one of that. Bang, 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 bang. Do like. Yeah. Fucking eight, eight, eight punches and shit like crazy, man. Damn, like so. So, what inspired you? Um, I know, I, I know you was you. you what, what was you pushed? What was you put into boxing from your parents, or was it something that you was like, Daddy or Mommy? I want to box. Well, I would say I was, I was boxing. You know what I mean, when I, when I, you, if I had pictures, I had pictures when I was two years old. I had boxes to box. My dad was signed with uh, with Joe Frazier. So, you know what I mean, I, I was, I was, I was made, I was made to block. Yeah. Okay. He said he was born this in this shit, huh? I was born in this. <laughs> he was born in it. That's what's up, man. As far as far as your yeah. amateur, 
before we jump into your pro, your professional career, man, as far as your amateur career, uh, how long did you fight amateur before you turned pro? And um, how many, how, what, what was your record? If you don't mind. Uh, no, because you know, amateur, you fight like, like so many times. So you fight a hundred miles. Yeah, yeah, I probably had like 180 fights, 200 fights. You know I mean, and, uh, I won, I won a lot of tournaments. I turned pro. I think I turned pro when I was like 20. I want to say 22. I turned pro. Yeah. I went overseas and fought overseas and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And won a lot of nationals. I mean, it, it was fun. I won. It was, it was real fun. Yeah, that, that that's definitely dope though. Um going like being able to travel. That was one of the dopest things I liked about boxing. You know, yeah. just just being able to travel. You feel what I'm saying? I thought that was just dope. You know what I mean? Like, it's about uh about, about boxing and traveling. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to make sure I got this also. Any comments coming in, I could catch them. Anybody got questions or whatever. Go ahead, you good though. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm traveling. Traveling is fun. And meet new people and all that. Yeah, that, that yeah. shit was dope as fuck, man. Like for me, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it was the same for you because you, you was boxing a whole lot a whole lot longer than I was. But you yeah. know, did, did you notice that every time you went to like di different certain matches and shit like that, it was like the same people. So it was like a whole yeah. big family of boxers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I I got some of my best friends. From New Mexico, best friend from Texas. I mean, from me and from boxing, you know I mean? So I kept in contact with a lot of people too. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. I, I done met so many people, and I, I done met so many people from uh, boxing and, and built a lot of relationships. Yeah. Um, I want to say that, that we still have those same relationships now today, but you know, everybody yeah. have a season in your life. They got a reason, which is yeah. a season in your life. For me, you know, though, I me, mean, I still, I still keep in contact with a lot, a lot of people met throughout, throughout my years of amateur boxing. Yeah, no doubt, as you should, man. Like I said, it's like it's like to me, it's like a whole big family. Um, even when like even, even, it's like it's like when when you a particular like when they feel as though you ripped from a certain cloth, cloth, and when you are ripped from a certain cloth, because it's obvious that you are, you not. You feel what I'm saying, but it's obvious that you know, uh, you you ripped from that cloth. You know, what I mean, the fighters. You feel what I'm saying, um. And people can recognize a fighter when they see one. You feel what I'm saying? So I definitely see one in you, man. And I, and I definitely would like to see you fight again on the real, man. So to jump into to, to jump into the the professional uh, shit, cause I just want to get a little bit about your amateur. Um, you know, I just want the people to know a little bit more about your amateur, uh, your amateur career, um, as far as that or whatever. I don't know. I was trying to call my damn phone. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But at the same time, um, I know you said you. I know you have kids, right? Yeah, I got kids. I got five. You got five of them. You have any sons? Yeah, I got uh, I got uh, three boys, and two girls. Two girls. All right. So let me ask you this because I'm a female and I box. Do any of your uh -huh. daughters want to box? Yeah, my uh, she want to box. She want to play all sports though. But she, she like boxing. I had to gym a little bit, hitting the pads and all that. that she, Mm. Okay. So how about you and your sons? I know, I know you got one that be dancing. He be locking it up, tick tocking it like a motherfucker. Yeah, he he uh, he wanna he, he a football player, but he he wanna box too. He wanna do all awesome ball pretty uh and, and, and box. He he real good in football though. That's what's up. 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 I see you support your kids, man. I see. I definitely see you support your kids and shit, man. So I see you had as as far as your record. I don't want to state it, but I I I will allow you to state this shit or whatever. You know what I mean? As far as wins, losses, draws, and whatever, state your record for everybody that's watching and viewing, man. Yeah, nineteen wins, two losses, two draws, and uh, seven seven knockouts. Seven knockouts, seven knockouts. I heard that shit. Just in case y'all didn't hear, he had a little. A little interruption in his in, in his uh in his vocal or whatever you know what I mean connection wise or whatever technical difficulties we expect that y'all but mm. with, you know the brother said just in case y'all missed it it's twenty three fights you feel what I'm saying nineteen knock nineteen wins seven of them bitches knocked out two of them motherfuckers losses right and two uh, draws yeah two draws yeah 
two draws. All right. So, you know, like you said, you talk to somebody that, you know what I mean, on top of their game, this and that or whatever and shit like that. And here to give inspiration to anybody that's trying to fight, not even trying, mm-hmm. but that's towards, you know, becoming a world champ because it's possible, man. It's definitely possible. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, go ahead, bro. What would you say? I said, I said, most of the championship, championship, boxer, company, company got that. You know what I mean? So that's possible. You might anything you put your mind to, you can do it. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Y'all heard it first, man. Anything you put your mind to, you can do it, man. Y'all heard it first from the former IBF, WBA, NABA, Super Battle Wet, Battle Weight Champion of the World, man. You know what I mean? Listen, this is not just some ordinary box I just picked out of a fucking gym with no shit like that. This is a brother that been really been fighting for years. You feel what I'm saying? Fighting since he was seven years old, 36 years old right now. You feel what I'm saying? We was, you know, uh, part of it. And, and, and I, I I got pleasure in saying that I was able to train with this brother. So, you know, um, you know, we, we, we came up in a time where though we basically paved the way, you know, paved the way and, 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 and opened up doors for, for the boxes that's able to evolve so quickly as they are able to nowadays and shit because we didn't have that in that. We didn't have that easy access to people to show them our skills and shit like that or our fights and all that, etc. or whatever, or even promote anything else about us, you know what I'm saying? So as, as they do so easily now and so cheaply now, you know what I'm saying? Most motherfuckers had to damn to get your life away, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, or some other shit to advance in the career, you dig what I'm saying, or, you know, be be held to some type of obligation in order to advance in their career, um, which they, they, they sit well with, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, you know, I mean, I just I just think that, you know, <clears throat> um, people that's watching this, rather they watching this right now, and not, I could tell if anybody commenting this or whatever, but, you know, rather, rather people are, uh, that rather people know anything about the business and not or whatever after watching this on um, video, I think that they will get a little bit, a little, little more his, a little, little more hit to what's going on as far as the business and shit like that or whatever. And as far as any 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 avenue in in the industry, as far as entertainment, um, I mean, you got to go hard, man. You definitely got to go hard. You definitely got to go hard. You know what I mean? So as as far as just on that note, since we talk about that right now, like what what advice would you give any um inspired um in, in inspired boxers, but anybody that's in athletes, period? Uh, uh, you got to promote yourself. So basically, you always promote yourself. I mean, you gotta have confidence, like we was talking about earlier. You gotta have confidence first and foremost. Definitely. You gotta believe in yourself because you don't believe in yourself that nobody else is. Hard work and, and keep a good team behind you, you know what I mean? Because a lot of leeches try to come around when you, when you got to pick out the, uh, the snakes, you know what I mean? Sometimes it can be hard, but you definitely you can pick out the grass at, and then you, you cut the grass on them, you know what I mean? But definitely, you know what I mean? Believe in yourself and just keep a good team behind you. and. Yeah. Look out, man. What else you got going on? I know you're not active right now as a boxer. Um, yeah. um and, and, and before I even jump on to whatever else you got going on, you know what I mean? A lot of people, you know, it, it is crazy. People are more impressed by, you know what I mean, the, the crazy shit that happened, this and that or whatever. And they probably like, ah, oh, yeah, battle weight fighter, this and that or whatever. And it's crazy because I had a conversation with a brother earlier before uh, having this interview with you. And I'm just like, yeah, I got a bro coming on here, this and that or whatever. I ain't telling no history or nothing like that. So nothing that no background shit. And, you know, it's not whatever. I was like, ah, he started giving me his input about boxing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just like, you know, well, well, boxing taught me that you can't sleep on nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boxing to me, you can't sleep on nobody. I don't give a fuck how big they is, how small they is, particularly how small they are. Like, you can, okay, yeah. all right. You, no, my, that motherfucker think because I'm skinny. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, look at you also, you so skinny. Okay, all right. And I'm sure you didn't have a situation because you're short. You always been a short dude. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, okay. Yeah. It's something different when you put them hands on you. Yeah, it's like, how does nigga get so big? Right. 
<laughs> that was a long motherfucker. Yo, what the fuck happened? This nigga all big all of a sudden? My people in a credible right. hawk on me? Yeah. You know me? <laughs> Looking up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, crazy. it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's hard out here, man. Um, so you know, uh, once so so my my point of me me going there um is just that you know a lot of people may not know um like I said may not even do the, the research on you um as far as your name I done put out and I I think yeah, I did put out your actual name Tian the technician correct right I did that right the middle name right the technician that shit you know what I mean like I'm the hit woman bang 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 technician right you know what I mean tech kit down with technical shit up on their ass and this shit hold on your shit don't look right to me. I was technical difficulties. I need it. You know what I mean? To the tech and the shit. Yeah, so. um, Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? My whole thing is. Uh, not everybody want to hit me up. Don't try to hit me up now when I'm on live. I don't like that. That's crazy. So, yeah. So, my whole my, my whole my whole thing is to get into that. Like I said, is like to. Okay, so you actually killed somebody in the ring, right? You was fighting somebody and the brother died. Okay, I'm not sure of his name. You don't have to specify his name. If anybody want to know about it, y'all know his name is Tion Kennedy. Y'all can look it up if y'all interested in his background. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, speak about that, bro, if you want. Right. So we can talk about it. Yeah. In the end, uh, in the finals, I'm making the. I mean, in the end, then so uh, uh so I want to fight him. And I said yeah, because I want to get, I want to get my win back. So it's very hard for that fight. You know what I mean? I definitely want to get that win back because he beat me. I was with everybody thought that he, that they robbed me anyway. So I won. It was a, it was a good fight. You know what I mean? Like the first round, they scored it. They shot the first round. You know, in Philadelphia. Give him in the eight That's what I helped him. So end up going to a ninth round, stop the fight in the ninth round. And then as I'm celebrating, he, he, uh, he passed out. But I didn't know how, I didn't really know how celebrated it was. To like, like so that, that was, what that, a Friday, it was a Friday fight. And then uh, Saturday, I heard he was in the hospital. And, like he, got, I mean, he wasn't waking up, you know what I mean? And then, I went to the hospital to find out he had blood. And then I said that was Friday. I believe that Sunday or Monday, they, it, uh, they say uh, apparently put a plug on him. He passed away. But then, but he just, I heard he donated his, his organs to uh, different people. So that, that was a good thing. And then they uh, a story on me you know, uh, on, on ESPN and stuff like that as well. So what happened? That's Back history and the history of, uh, of, of that, but yeah, I, I had that boxing, but I had to block that stuff out, so I'm gonna have to keep thinking about if I can clean boxing, but check it out. Though, but as a boxer, you know that um, stuff like that can happen, you got to prepare. Yeah, facts it definitely is, it's definitely a possibility. Um, I, for one, as a boxer, uh, I send out my condolences to the family. I'm sure you, you do right. the same stuff you already had. Um, yeah. And it is what it is. Like, it come with their territory. That was one of the things my mom was, um, you know, my mom feared about me boxing. It, and it's one of the things that I've never even thought of. I never even considered. I've never even, you know, so I know I'm a fighter because I never even thought about, like, getting beat, getting my ass whooped or none of that. None, none of the negative sides of fighting. I've never thought yeah. of none of that. None of that shit ever dwelled on me. It still don't to this day. The only thing now is the consequences of me whipping somebody's ass and put fucking somebody else's up. Me fucking somebody else up. That shit is is what dwell is what I dwell on now because I got babies. I got other people to live right, for right. that depend on me. So that's the reason why I don't be wanting to fight and be the person that I am truly that I truly am. Because I'm a fucking warrior. I want to fight. I and, right. and, and I'm not talking about senseless. I'm not talking about senseless fights. I'm a warrior. I want to fucking fight. And I'm not talking right. about always physically. I just want to fight. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I got that fighting spirit and shit. So, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I feel like um, as far as with what you said on that, and anything else that you got to say, go ahead. You can finish. I just got another question, too. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, 
Well, you weren't supposed to get your ass whipped, right? So you found know saying right. it is right. what it is. Sorry, the, result, right. sorry the, the, the end results from what it is, what, what it was, or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm glad you came out on the positive note. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you. Right. <laughs> I wish you would have came out that way for both of y'all, but at the same time, you came out on top. And that's what's up, man. You know what I mean? That that's what's up as far as um and, and with that question being asked and answered, man. Let me ask you this. Um, how how was it going into your next fight after that fight after after a guy lost his life competing after your opponent your last opponent lost their life competing against you? You found know what I'm saying? Like, like, how did it feel? Like, like, next fight? Yeah, but like, like I said, it. You know what I mean? I had to I had to I had to block it out. I don't know him personally, but I heard stories couple of fighters that um, killed somebody in the ring. They or they start going crazy or they gonna fight no more but i know me i love boxing so much so i had to block it. but i thought i had blocked it out i was doing i was, I was going to fight still i thought i had blocked it out. when i seen like when i looked at some of my fights on, on, on tape I, I seen that i wasn't still sort of on my mind like i wasn't as aggressive as, as i used to be yeah. but as i well but the fights on tape i thought i was at that you know what i mean but Looking back at it, I wasn't so. It did affect me, but I mean, I tried to block, block it out as, as much as I could. I feel you, man. I feel you. That's all. That's all you can do, man. I respect the truth. Man. I respect your truth for shit. Speaking your truth for shit on here tonight, man. I'm sure the viewers right. and shit and viewers will definitely respect your uh, respect the truth too, man. And I'm sure we'd definitely love to see you get back in the ring, bro. Like I already know from you know being in the ring with you and all that shit. Like you know what I mean? If if, if you could possibly get back into the ring, would you? Would you? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I feel a little boxing on me. I'm not too much out of state. Though. I mean, but I'm not too much out of state. But yeah, if I, if I could, I'd definitely take him back. I keep a box in, I, I, I keep a bag in my house. I keep all type of everything <laughs> boxes in my house. I, I got everything. So anytime I feel like fucking some shit up, I throw them gloves on. I instead of going outside and committing a crime and getting charged and some shit like that, I just go in my basement and I hit the bag. I got I got down there or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Just go bonkers. Like, what, what you do? What, what you do when you get mad? Like, you know what I mean? But I don't really got any problem like that. I, I, I be chilling. Like, a lot of stuff don't get me mad my way out, out of the hood. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I, was, I was really, really born into boxing. I was born to boxing. I was born in two years old. I had boxing. I was going. Yeah, so you disciplined. discipline. I was running around the track with my dad. I um, mean, so I was born in the So, like, you know I mean, a, a lot of stuff don't get me mad. I'm, I'm, as you know, I'm a cool, quiet guy. So, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff don't get me mad. So, I, 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 be, I be telling you. I know you a jokester. I be seeing your post and shit. You like me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you you a whole jokester and shit like yo. What this life is fun. Fuck is you talking about? What you mad for, motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't pay shit. Yeah what, you, yeah. yeah, what you mad for? Why you mad? Like, <laughs> right. We, we living over there. What you mad for? Yeah, fast, 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 fast. Straight, straight, straight like that. Straight like that, man. Sorry. Right, so listen, like you know what I mean. So we gonna we gonna head out in a minute and shit. But before we head out and shit, I know you got a clothing line. Um, yeah. I know you got a new jacket that's out um tell us a little bit about that you know what i mean give us the info on where we can find you where we can find yeah. you know I any mean? actual apparel if i'm saying so we can support you bro man you know what i mean and then hopefully look out for you you know what i mean i know i know they can type your name in google right just tion kennedy if y'all want to learn any history about the brother correct yeah yeah definitely yeah. Yeah, most definitely. So damn, if y'all want to definitely uh check out the brother's career and shit, man, you know what I mean? He definitely been fighting for a long time, man. Like you say, he had over 180 something fights as a amateur. 
you know, we both had the same trainer, um, Wade Hennett. You feel what I'm saying? Who in Vegas right now doing his thing. You feel what I'm saying? So when he come back, we have him on here too. And he also featured them. What's that movie with uh, the baby boy? Michael yeah. Yeah, 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 the first Creed. Yeah, the first Creed. He was in there as well too. So, you know what I mean? Like, we definitely, we, we definitely know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody and shit, man. And the, the whole idea is, you know, just basically to bring us together now that we got the access to the internet and, you know, basically people worldwide at our fingertips, man. Why not take advantage of that? Man? So, again, man, I definitely, you know what I mean? But hold on, hold on. Did you, you tell us, give us the info on the, on the clothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothing I, got, I got a clothing call. Uh, you, uh, on Instagram, luxury underscore lifestyle apparel. You know, you can just hit me up on uh, on my, my Facebook page, uh, Zach, you know what I mean? You can uh, you contact me. I, I mail it out. I got clothes on the line. I got any cleaning. I mean, I got a lot of things. And also, I come out with a, uh, uh, of course, we'll be on the lookout for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't heard the last thing. You said you also coming out with what? With a, uh, a sports podcast soon, too. Podcast, okay, all right, yeah, I can hear you better now, yeah, no doubt, yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So you said, what, what's the name? Of, what's the what's the name of the clothing line? So say that again. So we can hear you clear. Luxury lifestyle apparel. Yeah, we can hear you more clear uh, now. Yeah. Uh. You said where they can find you? Luxury lifestyle apparel Instagram. Instagram. All right, cool. Y'all heard it first, man. What's your host? The one and only. Freaky D, a.k.a. Snacks, man. Who the fuck up? Y'all know what this shit is, man. We ain't done yet, man. I done came with the heat first, man. Straight from out of Philly, man. Y'all know this shit, man. Had a nigga come in here with them hands. <laughs> y'all want none of this sauce, so yo. Y'all want none of these fucking hands, yo. I put these hands on you. I put these poles on you, son. Bro, tuck, bro. Y'all want that shit real tough, man. Y'all already know this shit, man. Former, you know what I mean, battle weight. IBF, WBA, NABA, Super Battle Weight Champion of the World, man. Tiana Technician Kennedy, man. Thank you again for coming on the platform, yo. Real tough, you know what I mean? Anybody got any questions, just, you know what I mean? Rather now or in the future and shit, man. Definitely hit the comment section up, you dig what I'm saying? And I'll let the brother know he can answer in this selfish shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, again, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned in. We ain't done yet. I'll be back in a second and shit with motherfucking boy boot from, from motherfucking Jersey and shit. And we got the shit popping this shit this bitch tonight, man. This is dirty. You know what time it is. Pull over the motherfucking drinks, yo, man. I love y'all. We out of this bitch. Peace.